Here we are again with yet another amazing new feature and new release by Leonardo AI. And this one's called Style Reference. This is gonna enable you to upload a reference image and use it to influence your generative outputs. Leonardo AI states that our implementation is much more customizable than we've seen elsewhere. It's a true style transfer that allows for flexible prompting. The output image, subject, or structure is not tied down to the reference image. So who exactly will style reference work best for? According to Leonardo AI, storytellers where we can craft visually consistent stories, marketing professionals, fashion design and interior designers, and also architectural design. This is like the perfect solution for so many things. So now to get started using this new amazing feature style reference, let me first show you exactly how to find it. Now, style reference is actually an update within the image guidance tool. And so that's exactly where we're gonna find it. If you're not familiar with the image guidance tool, I highly recommend you checking out this blog post by Leonardo AI. It's gonna give you some amazingly helpful details and explanations on how to leverage and take full advantage of image guidance. And so if you haven't seen this video where I demonstrate this highly underestimated feature, make sure you check this one out on how to use image guidance as well. So let's just go ahead and go the style reference. Now, over here on the left-hand side, just select image generation, just like you would anything else to create a specific image. So now that we're over here on the next page, the first thing you wanna do is just select image guidance. Now you'll notice I'm in generation history right now. Image guidance right now has the off toggle button. Let's just go ahead and then go to image guidance. Now this is where the magic can start to happen. So the first thing we're gonna do is over here, just go ahead and simply add an image to get started. But first I wanna give you some very helpful information. So for an example, it's gonna come with a wide range of weights. We have low, mid, high, ultra, and max. Low acts as a subtle visual filter, tweaking color and mood without altering style. Mid to ultra introduces more pronounced visual motifs and a style element. Max offers the strongest style transfer, closely mimicking the reference style, which might affect coherence. The fine-tuned models that Leonardo AI recommends that we use for this are gonna be mainly XL models. Leonardo AI Kino XL, Albedo Base XL, which is my personal favorite, Diffusion XL, and Vision XL. We wanna make sure first that we have some good prompts or images to actually use. And so what I did was I first came over here to my Leonardo AI Mega Prompts database. Check the links in the description for this Mega Prompts database, plus hundreds of prompts. And so as you can see, I already have a few images I wanna try and use specifically for style reference. I'll also include a link in the description, that way you could access this database yourself. And so the cool thing about this is that as I click on each individual image and prompt, you'll see that you can expand the actual cell. It's gonna have the actual image in addition to the fine-tuned model that was used, the alchemy preset, and then here we are with the full prompt. If I want to use this documentary style image, in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see a blue download button. That way you can actually click, like I am right now, and download any single image in these prompt databases to use for yourself for image guidance or style reference. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, let's just first try this out with one of Leonardo AI's recommended images that they actually used. Now we have our image downloaded, the easiest way to do this is you can add an image to get started. So here it is already right here uploaded in Leonardo AI. You can select an image from your past generations, the community feed, follower feed, and then your most recent uploads. You can also click and drag any image from your documents like I'm doing right now, and then just simply drop it within this upload box, okay? Right over here in this dialog box, this is where style reference now lives. Once you open, expand it, now there it is, style reference. And it says, extracts the style from a reference image and injects it into your generated image are gonna be our options. We have low, mid, high, ultra, and max. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is come over here into my Leonardo AI database. 
And so in here, I already have selected a few images that you see on your screen right here that I want to actually try this with. And let's just say I like some of these images of shoes right here. Let's use this prompt by copying this whole entire prompt and then use this in conjunction with the style reference tool. So since I have my prompt copied, I'm gonna paste it now in Leonardo AI. I could see I have my style reference image loaded. Simply just select generate. And so another one of my favorite style images are gonna be these right here. I love the way these turned out. So if I wanna utilize these, and not specifically to create a person, but I can create any sort of subject imaginable using style reference. But I wanna maintain this same sort of consistency and look. So while we're waiting on the other one, I'm also going to go ahead and then copy this prompt out. But first, let's go back over here to my generations and now look at these images I got using style reference. I mean, this is phenomenal. Okay, here's the one right here of this Nike shoe. This is amazing. So for comparison, this is the specific image we're using as a style reference, okay? So that's why the shoe is gonna look like that. Now, I'm not looking to get my image to look like this. I want it to look like the style reference image, but I still wanna get this kind of Nike shoe. So that's where I utilize this prompt, which then leads us to these final results right here. So if I bring this image over here as a comparison, Look at this right here. This did a phenomenal job. Let's take a look at a few more of these, okay? And also, this one did a great job too. So as we go through some of these, remember, it's keeping everything exactly like this original style reference image, and this is amazing. Okay, here are the three images I originally got, okay? And this was done by using just the simple default strength of high. And then this first row up at the top is gonna be a 0 .40. So that's why on this top row right here, it isn't gonna look so identical to the original style reference because we're allowing Leonardo AI to have more creativity and flexibility to add its own touch to it. Whereas when I utilize a higher strength, we're gonna get an image that's gonna more closely resemble the original style reference image that we just uploaded. So I won't sit here and bore you and make you watch me do image after image. I'll do a few of these and then show you the final results, but then I wanna show you a very awesome tip that you'll definitely want to use and take advantage of. And that's where we're going to utilize style reference, but then we're also going to open up another image guidance block where we're going to use the pose to image. Now what I'm adding in here is going to be this image right here. Now this is going to be perfect for print on demand, t-shirts, or anything like that. And I also have this one right here. And a lot of these are going to be extremely unique, sort of like this image right here, because I love how I can get a beautiful looking image right here, but how how can I maintain the same level of consistency? It might be sort of hard to describe this image with the gradient nighttime sky, but then also that neon glow within that woman's dress. So I want to try this one as well. And I'm going to click and drag this one in here. And I'll do a few more of these fairly quickly because I really want to see what we can get out of it. Okay. And I'll use albedo base for the majority of these, because I think in my personal opinion, that's gonna actually do the best job with style reference. And then when it came to trying to reduplicate my documentary style one of this elephant right here, look at what an amazing job it did for this panda. Okay, so based off of this image right here, look at what I got. Here are a few of these variations. Now, this one was gonna be Albedo Base XL Image Guidance Ultra. So the higher it is, the closer it is going to mock my original looking image right here. Now here's the important thing to keep in mind. The prompt I used was a woman lost in the desert. So it gave me specifically a desert. Now I don't know what setting this is here, but if I did a woman lost in the beach, it will give me the same style image, but it would then change the desert to the water, but I still kind of get this neon highlight coming through her dress, amazing. But notice when I bring my image guidance lower, in this case, it's gonna be a one, I give it more control. So now I kind of lose that neon glow that I was kind of looking for. However, I still do kind of maintain a similar style pose of the image. So then the other one I did earlier, we're going to be these t-shirt print on demand style ones. If you remember, there is the original image 
Using style reference, I now get this owl right here. Fantastic. And then again from earlier, I wanted to duplicate this cute Pixar style fox. Again, using style reference, I now get this cute Pixar style elephant. Okay, so before we wrap this up, let me now show you the thing I'm most excited about. Remember earlier when I said you can actually use two image guidance tools at the same time. You can use style reference for one, but then you could also use like pose or a depth image as a second reference point. Point. Let me show you exactly how to do just that because you're going to be blown away by the final results. Now I'm back in image guidance. I first have my image right here uploaded. There it is again, one of my favorite images, one of my favorite prompts, that ethereal gradient style woman. So I'm going to use this one as my style reference. To the right of this, I used a second image guidance image. Now I'm uploading this cinematic style, interstellar style of this astronaut lost in this otherworldly interstellar environment. Now notice, there's gonna be two things that I highly recommend. As far as the type is concerned, right now I have depth to image as my selection, but I also recommend trying pose to image. So this is gonna detect the pose of any characters and it'll basically guide the positioning or the pose of your subject. Whereas the depth of image will detect the depth features of any input image, and then it will use this to guide the depth. So with that said, let me show you exactly the style of images I got with this. So first we'll start with the style reference with pose to image. This did a phenomenal job. Remember, we're using this image right here for style reference. And then I'm also using this image right here for my pose because I don't want that face close-up shot. And now when you combine the two, this is exactly what you get. And now with the next image, I got this one. And when I change my prompt up to over the shoulder or a behind view, now it gives me the same thing, but now I'm looking at the back of this woman. So these were done using a strength of 1.0. What happens when I did it a little bit higher? I got these images right here. Fantastic job. So the higher it is, based on each style reference strength, you're gonna get a different sort of result. But then this is what happens when you use depth to image. Very similar results to the pose to image, but I really like the way this turned out. Again, everything looks fantastic, including the night sky, the gradient colors, and the actual pose to image. And then last but not least, if you really wanna show off and you get an image that you love the final results, I highly recommend using motion. And that's exactly what I did with this image right here. Let me go ahead and then select play. Look at what a great job it did over here utilizing motion. So there you have it, another amazing update by Leonardo AI. Give this a shot yourself and don't forget to check the links in the description because I'll provide access to the database in addition to many other prompts you may wanna try Try for yourself. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. Until then, we'll see you next time.